Here we go again. Again. <laughs> oh, it's not a laughing matter when the Banana Republic has taken over America, which has gone on for decades. This shit's been going on a long time. <sighs> so what we do about it? What we do about it, everyone? Here, polish up your fishing poles and, and get them lead weights all polished up because uh, catching season might be here. Might be here. <laughs> Funny story, you know, last night, you know, with these troopers, all this shit, I'm going to get right into over 25 years ago. All these things that, you know, you get labeled as shit and whatnot. Over 25 years ago, a buddy of mine, or old buddy, I should say, still friends after all these years, you know, just people get older, we got kids, I'm a grandparent, fuck, you know, whatever. No qualms, no quarries. But got pulled over because some... Uh, you know, that neighborhood watch bullshit, one of those liberals, and, you know, Buddy and I were just out cruising around, and we were just parked, and, you know, he decided to go driving off, and uh, make a long story short, remember back, uh, five dollar bowls, you know, a five dollar bowl, it's like, you know, we got weed dispensaries every fucking where. It's like 10 bucks minimum for a gram. Some some of that shit's over $22 a fucking gram. So we're talking, remember the old film canisters, which are, our fucking film came in, and you had to wind it into your camera and all that shit, and fucking 35 mil. Yeah, I miss that. Yeah, so, you know, I went three months without my driver's license had to sit through an eight hour fucking bullshit stupid fucking drug alcohol class cost me back then over two hundred fucking dollars then I finally got my license back to drive around again like I need anyone to fucking tell me that I'm okay to drive I'm totally fine but yeah I was a passenger in the vehicle Five dollar little bowl, but this is like a little, little tiny little fucking nug in a film canister. Get charged, show possessing less than half a pound. It just makes you look all fucking shitty and all that stuff. It's like, you know, it's time for appeals. There's plenty of shit on my record where I wasn't even at fucking home, not even in the same town, and fucking ended up going to jail for domestic violence that I didn't even fucking have anything to do with or fucking even around just because someone said something. It's the same fucking Banana Republic police state bullshit happening here. You know, just like uh, in America with Trump. Indictment after indictment. It's like, uh, where's Hillary Clinton and Obama and fucking all these other senators and Stacey Abrams and all that shit getting indicted too. It's it's just nonsense. And then you hear Dan Bongino talking, everyone's talking about it, and the Maui thing and all this smart city bullshit and all this crap. It's like, wake up everybody. Wake up. You know, you might have to go boot to fucking ass. Just like last night. Thought there was kids crying and screaming over here because the neighbor, she's a firefighter. So, you know, heard some kids out having fun all weekend long, and then it was all quiet. And then last night, the wife and I get back from a trail ride and stuff, and hear this dude yelling and screaming, and sound like kids crying and shit. So, I got extra strapped up, because I'm always strapped. Actually, I can't really say that, because I'm not strapped at home right now, but everything's close. Close a fucking enough to grab. So, anyways, had to go over to fucking 
see what the hell was going on. I thought it was one of our other crazy neighbors that, that you know, he's around. And he starts throwing shit around. It's actually been pretty quiet, but... Had to go over, gun drawn, all this shit. Fucking, there's a chick watching the neighbor's place. And I could have swore it sounded like kids in there still. And I'm coming through the woods and everything. I'm like, hey, I'm, I could see her through the window. And she's like, oh. I'm like, hey, you know, everything's cool. I get up there. That's the situation. I asked her what's going on. She had an argument with her boyfriend. And then her boyfriend comes peeling up. And the other, one of the other neighbors from down the road, like, walked up the road to see what the commotion was about, too. And, you know, it's like, where's her husband at? Like, what the fuck is going on? I told these people, I'm like, I, we don't call the cops around here. The fucking troopers and the Gestapo and this fucking gulag and all this shit. No, we govern ourselves. This is self-governance. And, you know, it's been a long time since I had my gun drawn. Because of either crazies or, or combat. So, you know, regardless to say, everything's all good. I came home, you know, that dude left and stuff. And, and uh, I get a hold of the neighbor and be like, hey, this nonsense going on at your place is fucking... So I'm talking about the whole point is you got to go boot to fucking ass you go towards the fucking gunfire you go towards that fucking danger zone find yourself take care of your communities I, I go straight towards the gunfire I go straight towards the danger every fucking time I'm better I'm better that way than just hanging out and Seeing what happens. Not one of those hang out and see what happens and ooh, clear and present danger, but not do anything fucking about it. What the fuck, America? You know what's right, you know what's fucking wrong, and you get up off your fucking shoulders and you go take care of that fucking shit. This isn't a call for violence. It's not a prediction. Fucking nasty pig ass Pelosi and her fucking goddamn butt-loving fucking ball penis hammer fucking husband Paul Pelosi who should be in fucking jail just off that DUI fucking felony DUI hit another fucking vehicle while fucking trashed. What the fuck is that about? No. Oh, no one's above the law. No, fuck that. I am the law and so are fucking you. fucking bullshit. You take care of your communities and you fucking go boot to fucking ass. Wish I had a private jet. Fly all over the place. And use my scope to see things. You know what I'm talking about. It's fucking bullshit. You want, you want something to change? You fucking damn well better fucking change it. This is, this is insane. Our fucking Constitutional Republic hasn't been a thing for fucking decades. Over a hundred fucking years. This two-party fucking bullshit system. These fucking electorals and all oh, the fucking Congress and House of Representatives and fucking 535 plus fucking people that just make decisions. And plus all the fucking handlers. All your tax dollars go into this shit. Quit paying fucking taxes. Choke these motherfuckers out. If you're not gonna physically go choke them the fuck out like they deserve. They all need to hang as traitors to this country and to freedom and to fucking civil fucking rights. Come at me, bros. I'm ready for y'all. It's your salty Alaskan Rambo out.